In terms of bad graphs, this first example, we talk about the heights of a graph, but I really ask, what are the advantages and disadvantages? Because there's nothing bad about them. Just like how data can be manipulated to make something look better or worse than it is, the same thing can happen with graphs. The graph on the left you could think of as zoomed out, whereas the graph on the right is zoomed in. It really depends on what you're trying to show. On the left, if you're a company trying to sell um, people stock in your company, you might say, wow, look at this graph on the left. Our company is so stable. You've got to buy you know, stock in our graph. We've been averaging you know, $40 million in revenue for the first four years of our company, and maybe you'll sell more stock. Now, somebody who really wants to look into your company might look at the graph on the right and say, oh my God, your company was climbing and then plummeted. Your profits or revenue, sorry, is all over the place. I'm not going to buy stock. So it's not that one's better or worse than the other, and hopefully both of these are truthful. It's just that, you know, what do you want to show? Maybe you want people to see the zoomed in case. The other thing to notice on this one is that funky little cut line on the graph on the right that indicates a jump in values, so it's kind of letting people know that you've zoomed in. And then we have this one of a picture representing a graph. This one actually does have a problem. Imagine that your first year in college you read 10 books, and then in your year two, your second year of college, you read 20 books. The problem here is the picture on the right is not representative. What ends up happening is the height is double the height of number of books you read the first year, but the width is also double twice as wide. So you have two times two, you actually have four times. So the picture on the right is four times larger than the picture on the left. So it would be as if you read 40 books in your second year. So pictures can become a little bit more dicey, but maybe for year two, if you would have listed two books of the same size as year one, it could have been representative and would have worked as a picture.